Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So last week we looked at this radio here, which is a Zygu the X6100, and I showed you how to set up Morse code messages, i.e. input messages on the radio, save them, and then when you want to go on the airways in Morse code, you just tap the buttons at the bottom there. This week's video, I'm going to show you how to use a Bluetooth keyboard with this radio. You can use the on-screen keyboard using the MFK key, rotating it around and clicking it. That works, but it can be a bit clunky. So I went on to Amazon and I picked up one of these, just a generic Bluetooth keyboard. This was around about 13 quid. And I cannot get this keyboard to connect to the radio. It works on the my iPhone because I was going to use it for programming Python on the go to play around with Python programming. It works on the Mac and works on every other Bluetooth device that I've connected it to. It's just worked out of the box of the keyboard's working, just won't work on the radio. Now you can actually use a USB keyboard if you get one of these adapters which is USB-C to USB-A apparently it works with a Chromebook so all oh, my lights gone off my camera it works with a Chromebook but of course it does it's just USB devices that work on the Mac it work on the Linux and anything really you can use that with a keyboard so you plug this connection there into the host socket and you can plug a USB uh, keyboard into there and away you go but you have to take a big keyboard if you can get a small uh, USB keyboard but you don't want all wires hanging about you want to do it wireless so what I've found it's worked is this here and this is check this out a Sinclair ZX Spectrum if that fits in the camera the only authorized full-size recreation of the ZX80 uh, Z, uh, 1980s personal computer ZX80 there and you've got the ZX Spectrum. Let's take it out of the box. Now this isn't an original Spectrum. This is actually a Bluetooth keyboard. And I'm sure that's bringing back a lot of memories for a lot of people there. You know, rubber key weirdness. Probably a lot more reliable now than it was in the 80s. And uh, the only thing you did with this keyboard back in the day was press the J key. And then symbol shift P, symbol shift P. Pressed enter. You didn't really know what it had done. It just said load. And it just loaded up the game and you have to connect to a tape play and wait about half hour for it to screech screech away and you can play your game such as manic minor and jet set willy yeah and chucky egg now you can use this on the iphone as well with a um like an emulator because you do get an emulator with it and you can play it you can play it and you can also do things from welder spectrum so i was sitting there playing chucky egg and people look at me and go oh, you're playing on spectrum chucky egg still impossible it's even harder on the bbc be even harder with these stupid rubber keys. The back of the keyboard, you've got the on off, status led, the pairing button, layer A, layer B, and 5 volts DC. Now, what that layer A, layer B does, if you use it in layer B, you can use it as a normal keyboard. If you use it in layer A, then you can use it on the emulator. So, we're going to use it as a normal keyboard, so we leave it in layer B. But to delete, you have to press the cap shift and the zero. To delete there and if you want the other things to come out such as the speech marks you have to push the symbol shift you don't have to if you wanted to type say return you haven't got to sit there and work out what key does what to get the return so symbol shift cap shift y just type it out as return you can do cq on the keyboard so let's turn the radio on and we'll see if we can get this spectrum to pair up with this zygu radio so we're going to give the radio some power I'm not sure how well the screen's going to come out because when I'm filming my camera, which I'm doing now, the screen tends to come up pink. If I film on my iPhone, it comes up like a bluish colour, like it's supposed to be. So there we go. It's going to do its initial power on test. There we go, power on in it. And there we go. If I turn on the ZX Spectrum keyboard, We're going to go to system settings and then we're going to go to Bluetooth. So we can use the multifunction key to go across to Bluetooth. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's coming out okay on the camera. And it's now going to turn the Bluetooth on. It should remember the last device and we should just be able to go connect and it should be good to go. Okay, we're going to press on scan. 
So now it's going to scan for Bluetooth devices. See if it finds anything. It's now saying, please wait. Nothing's come up. So what I'll do, I'll put the spectrum into pairing mode. Press on the pair button. You see there, LED flashing. Now we're going to press scan. It should come up with this recreated ZX Spectrum. There we go, at the top there. Recreated ZX Spectrum. Lovely. Let it, do its, let it finish its scan. Amazing enough, it connected to my iPhone, no problems, but wouldn't connect to that generic Bluetooth keyboard. So we're just going to press on connect at the bottom here. It should. There we go. Focus, please. There you go. It's hard to film this screen. Paired and connected. So now we need to press on exit. Exit again. And we can go to MSG, which is this one here. And we can go to MSG3. And we can start typing. So we can do a C, Q. There we go. Space, C, Q. God, it's hard on this keyboard. C, Q, C, Q. 2E0, I, Q, J. Test. They are made a mistake, so it's going to be sim, uh, cap shift and zero. Go back. And there we go. Just typed out CQ test using the rubber keyed ZX Spectrum keyboard. Now, if I want to delete, I have to go cap shift and zero. So let's do that. Cap shift and zero. You see there, deleting. Once I've got the message, so we're going to do C Q space C, Q, space, test. I can then do what I did last week and save the message there. And then MSG3. As you can see there, if it comes out okay. CQ test. And I was playing around with the other thing. Let's just push number one. Go exit. There we go. And you see there, CQ test, what we just inputted. And... Signal 5 is the other message. But yeah, wouldn't it be cool when you go out and about to do a Ritty contest mobile with this um, radio, plump the Spectrum on the desk, and then they say, what are you doing? I'm using my Spectrum as a keyboard. Or I'm going to use this to input stuff. And they'll be like, what? They'll be confused. How the hell have you connected it? It's just a Bluetooth Spectrum keyboard that I picked up. I think I got it from a boot sale. Uh, 20 quid, I think I'll pay for this. It was uh, boxed and full instructions, and the... I sort of knew, knew the guy that I got it from. But yeah, connecting the Spectrum keyboard to this radio has to be done. And it's awesome. Look at that. We've got a ZX Spectrum connected. Shame we can't play um, Chucky Egg and stuff on here. I wonder if I could use XFE Linux, which is the one that he used for doing FT8, and then uh, connect to the internet, roll the Spectrum, and then use this as a spec. Oh, that'd be good. I'll have to play around with that. Play some games on this using the world of Spectrum.org. Using this this keyboard here, there must be an emulator for ZX Spectrum for the old um for for Linux. I'll have to look look that up. Wouldn't it be good? Sit there in a the calf, play Spectrum, play some Chucky Egg, play some Manic Miner, Jet Set Willy, Horace Goes Scared Horse and Spiders. And when you finish with that, go outside and do some uh, go and do some Ritty and some Morse code using the, the Spectrum. Anyhow, that was a quick video on how to connect the Spectrum to the Zygu radio. Other Bluetooth keyboards might work. I'm going to try it with my Macintosh keyboard, my Bluetooth Mac keyboard. I'm going to try it with some other keyboards. But the Spectrum, nice and small, stick it in your bag, away you go. I don't really want to take a full-size keyboard with me if I'm going out and about just to do some, uh, to do some uh, Ritty and stuff. If you found the video some news you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. But if you don't like the video, I'm pretty sure that other button works too. And if you like what we do on the channel, play around with ham radio stuff, then consider subscribing. Got any ideas for videos, post it in the comments below. If you want to play with Linux, because people say, oh, you can't do this on Linux, you can't do that on Linux, you can't do this. You can, because I've done over 100 plus videos on what to do in Linux, how to burn CDs, how to uh, video edit, how to photo edit, and so on, using things like Caden Live, the GIMP as a Photoshop editor, how to edit, how to edit videos, um, audio, using Audacity, how to rip uh, DVDs to your hard drive, using like um, Handbrake, which I use for Plex and stuff like that. And there's quite a lot you can do on Linux. I haven't found anything I can't, I can't do. And people say you have to use a command line to do anything. No, you don't have to use a command line. You can do. And sometimes it is easier using the command line than the GUI. 
But 99.9% of the time, you're not using the command line, you're just using the mouse like a G GUI. And the good thing about it, it's free. And if you like some vintage tech, such as my old mobile phones and things like that, so there we go, there's an old mobile phone, it's a Samsung. Then we got Vintage Fridays, where we look at vintage tech on a Friday, and last week we looked at an old Nintendo Greenhouse game. Anyhow, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ, 73s for now.